Hey guys, this is David Morgan with Organic Themes. I'm going to be demoing our new Customizer Widgets plugin, which allows you to transform the core WordPress customizer into a page builder. Now the plugin is freely available in the WordPress plugin repository. So in order to install and activate it, all you need to do within any WordPress installation, any self-hosted WordPress installation, um, you're gonna to wanna to go to Plugins, Add New over here within the search field. Just go ahead and search for customizer widgets. And when it pops up, just install and activate that plugin. As soon as you activate it, you'll be taken to the welcome screen for the plugin, which has some helpful information to get you started, some tutorials, stuff like that. If you could give us a like or a follow or subscribe to our newsletter, it would be greatly appreciated. Today we're gonna to be using uh, the startup theme to demo the power of this plugin. However, you can use virtually any theme. Um, we also recommend some of our free themes, Swell Light, Structure Light, Natural Light. Um, but like I said, if you have another theme in mind that you want to use, this plugin should work great with it as well. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is um, add widgets to a page. So we're going to go to Pages, Add New. And um, you can call your page anything you want. I'm just going to say My Page for demo purposes. And um, this can be done with any pages or all pages on your WordPress website. Uh, the key to applying the widgets to the pages is over here in the page attributes section. We're going to want to choose the organic custom page template right here. Now there are other page templates here as you can see. These have been added by the theme. The organic custom is the only page template that is added by the plugin. So that's the one we're going to want to use. So just go ahead and click that. That's going to notify you that you either need to update this page or publish it. I'm just going to go ahead and publish my page. And let's click this Customize Page button. This is going to bring us directly into the WordPress Customizer. It's going to bring us directly to that My Page we just created. And then over here on the left, it's going to open up the Widgets panel. So all we need to do from this point is just start adding widgets to this page. In order to do that, you just click this Add a Widget button. The slide out pops up with, with all the widgets we currently have available. Now a lot of these are just core default widgets. You can add them to the page if you want, but uh, ours look better and have uh, you know, a little bit more functionality. So um, we're going we're gonna to add just a few of these to the page today just to demo it, but you can add as many of these widgets as you want. Uh, for instance, you can add a portfolio, um, personal profiles, team members testimonials, slideshows, all kinds of stuff as, as different sections. Um, you can add multiple of the same widgets to a, a uh, page as well. All right, we're gonna get started with Organic Hero. So just go ahead and click that widget. It's gonna apply it over here to the left. A hero section is you know like a big featured section on a, on a uh, web page. So we'll just add a little, little title text here. Add a little description beneath it. If you want, you can add a, a link, featured link. You can add two of them if you like. Uh, you can link this button to you know, another page on your website or another site entirely, or you could even have uh, an anchor link, which is you know, done by adding a, a number sign and then the ID of a section on a page. So you can link to another section on, on an existing page or on the page you're on. So that's, these are all options for the widget here. Um, you know, you can add as many of them or uh, fiddle with them as much as you want or as little as you want. I'm just gonna show you some of the options. So we're gonna make this a full window height section, which increases the height of the section to the height of your, your viewport window there. Um, let's go ahead and add a background image as well. I'm just gonna choose something from my media library here. That would make a good background image. There you go, you can see we have a background image applied. And let's make that a fixed background image. So that means that when you scroll, the image stays in the same place. Kind of cool, right? Now you can change the alignment of the content here. You move it over to the right, you can move it to the bottom right. Top left, you know, wherever wherever you want it to be. Um, just put it, we'll just put it back in the middle for now. If you want to change the image, this is a cool feature of the plugin as well. So if we choose this dark image here, this, this starry sky, for instance. Now the text on top automatically changes to white. So the, the plugin 
reads any images that you put in here and it, it analyzes whether or not it's, it's a dark or a light um, colored image and then it changes the text on top of it accordingly which is a pretty slick feature. Now that's just uh, the hero widget. Let's go ahead and add another one for demo purposes. Let's add a feature list. So we'll just say, now you can see it's started to be created over here. Just call this features. This is great if you have a service or a product and you just want to uh, showcase or highlight some of the, um, the features of that particular product. So let's say it's let's say it's really fast. Add that. Copying a little dummy content up here for the feature, and we'll choose an icon for it. How about a speedometer? That's really fast. All right. Let's say it's really secure. And you can add as many of these features as you want, and you can select from these existing icons here. So in this case, we'll, we'll choose a lock for really secure. Or you could um, add your own custom icon image as well. So uh, something from the media library that you may be already uploaded or you know another set of icons that you have. Uh, let's also say it's, it's really, really good. All right, and um, we'll add a diamond for that. Some feature text for that. Now as you can see I've added three features to this, this feature list. Uh, it's currently set up to display in a four column layout. So if you want to display it in a three column layout we'll just scroll up here to our options for the widget and let's change it to three columns. And once you do that it should automatically update. And there we're showing it in three column layout. Let's um, add a fake URL here so you can add a button to link to a section if you want to. There we go, we have our, our second widget added to the page, a list of features. Okay, now let's let's add one more, just, uh, just to keep showing you. All right, so let's add a subpage. This allows you to add you know, custom content, or what's cool about this is you can pull in existing content from a page that you've already created. So we'll go here where it says, use uh, cut content from a page, and we'll select an existing page so we have a new way to use widgets. I'll add that as our existing page. We can see it, it just pulled it in right here. So that's the content from that page and however the content is formatted on that page, whether you have it you know, left align, right align, if you have short codes applied to that page, um, it will display it uh, as a section on, on this particular page. So let's, um, let's maybe add a background image here. That looks like a good one. And there you have it. We've added three widgets to this page, so you can you can add you know as many more as you like. You can add portfolios, slideshows, uh, whatever you need. And um, if you want to edit one of these existing widgets, just click on this little icon, and it'll pull up the options for that widget. If you want to change the order of the widgets, just drag and drop them. So all of a sudden. We have our subpage displayed above our features. If you want subpage displayed first, just bring that up to the top. Bring the features here. Now, uh, to edit some options, just go back into this features list. And let's just change the background color. Let's make it purple. There we have it. So that is the Organic Customizer Widgets plugin and it allows you to build dynamic pages very quickly within the Core WordPress Customizer. It doesn't add a whole lot of code um, to your existing WordPress installation. So as you can see, everything runs extremely fast here. Uh, it will not slow down your site at all, which means um, it should be better for SEO purposes. It should, should just be easier to work with in general. So uh, I'm David Morgan again from Organic Themes, and I hope you find this plugin useful, and uh, try it out on your next your next website. Thanks.